Andy, first of all, congratulations. A, a fantastic result going to the Europeans. What were your thoughts on the match? Um, to be honest, we had a job to do today, and that was to get the points in the bag to, to qualify for Eindhoven. So we did the job, so we're really thrilled that everyone in the changing room buzzing after the game. Because it's the first time in 15 years we're going to be represented at the European A's, so we couldn't be happier, really. It was a pretty steady performance as well. After last weekend's bronze medal in, in the uh, Four Nations, I mean, how important do you think that was in your build-up? Um, it's always great to play the best teams in the world, like Canada and China and Germany are in all four as well. So to play them games on home territory was, was brilliant. It was a great experience. So to prepare for Ukraine with those games was perfect. You know, and Ukraine probably aren't as good as those teams, so we were really, really well prepared technically, tactically. Mm -hmm. Frankie, four goals for yourself tonight, but also impressed in defence. I mean, do you think that was an area where we really got on top of the Ukrainians? Yeah, it was quite difficult actually because their attack wasn't very strong. They were sitting on halfway and sometimes not even passing halfway. So we had the uh, hard decision whether to come back and let them come closer and double team on their, their strong player or to press out. Um, so it was, a bit, it was a, a bit of a hard decision, but I think we did well to keep them to eight goals. Now you girls have done it, you've got through to the Europeans, but you've already beaten the likes of Greece and Italy in the past two years, so what kind of expectations do you have going into that major championship? Um, I think we, we know in our heads it's going to be tough. Um, obviously the Olympics is the big goal and we're using the European A's as a stepping stone towards the, uh, towards the Olympics. Um, I think we're, we'll be aiming for top four at that Europeans. We'd really like to give ourselves a confidence boost before stepping forward into the, into the Olympics in August. Yeah, definitely. In women's sport at the moment, it's uh, one or two goal different, as you probably saw between Canada and China last weekend. So anything can happen when we get there. So we've just got to keep focused and give it our best shot, really. I think anything can happen. Brilliant. Well, well done again. Okay. Thank you.